or uh, in the meeting that should be at this time? Yes. Oh, can you mute us? Oh, thank you. Um, yes, ma'am, I believe so. Um, and we, we do have guests in person also. If you look over to the side, you want to introduce <laughs> yourself as our sole guest? Uh, sure, my name is Leo Huditz, my wife Janice. Hi. <laughs> Thank you, and it's, it's nice to have you here. Thank you. So welcome to all of our guests and candidates, um, and good morning. My name is Melissa Santi Stavon, and I'm, the C I'm a CPA and a chair of the New Mexico Public Accountancy Board. I'm honored to be here today, and I'm very pleased to see all of you here as well. It's nice to have many people joining us for today's therapy. Ceremony. I would like to begin by introducing some of the individuals joining us today. We have Ms. Suzanne Bruckner, who is the Vice Chair of the New Mexico Public Accountancy Board and a CPA from Albuquerque. We have Mr. Bruce Bradford, Secretary and Treasurer of the Board and a public member from Santa Fe. We have Mr. Sanjay Bakta, member of the board and CPA from Santa Fe. Mr. Jeffrey Riggs, public member of the board from Rio Rancho. <clears throat> Ms. Barbara Salas, public member of the board from Santa Fe. Mr. Daniel Trujillo, CPA from Albuquerque. Ms. Lynette Kuhn, CPA from Albuquerque. Mr. David Diller, CPA from Albuquerque. Ms. Jeanette Contreras and Ms. Jennifer Gobbledone from the New Mexico Society of CPAs. Ms. Noelle Davis, Executive Director and Team Manager. Ms. Christine Perea, Licensing Manager. Mr. Ernest Santucci, investigator, and Ms. Sarah McGuff, board administrator. Thank you all for being here today. I'm sure that uh, it's important to uh, get, make ourselves known to these new candidates um, and soon to be CPAs. Thank you. <clears throat> Again, I would like to thank the New Mexico Public Accountancy Board for their hard work and dedication for today's swearing in ceremony. The administrative staff uh, work to ensure questions are answered, applications are promptly processed, certificates are mailed, and the board is aware of the changes within the industry. The staff took many recommendations from prior swearing in ceremonies to create today's event. So we thank you for joining us today and we hope that you enjoy the ceremony. On behalf of the New Mexico Public Accountancy Board, I would like to say congratulations upon becoming our newest certified public accountants. Now is the time for you to be proud of your accomplishments and to be recognized by your family, friends, and community as you enter the respected profession of certified public accountancy. Given today's ever-changing environment, you as a CPA will be asked to perform complex tasks while using critical skills to make a greater impact on the profession. As a CPA, you will become your client's most trusted advisor. A reputation of honesty and integrity will be your most valued asset. That, my fellow CPAs, is a coveted responsibility and one that should not be taken lightly. As I contemplate my career as a professional and CPA, there have been many wonderful experiences that allowed me to grow both personally and professionally. But I also know that there were times where I was exposed to pressure to set aside my principles and the integrity of the profession for clients, coworkers, management, and even third parties. It is during those times that each of you as a CPA will have to decide whether to uphold the principles and integrity of the profession that we hold so dear. I implore each of you to stay steadfast in your beliefs, in the standards, and in the fidelity of this profession and not to give in to the pressure 
to set those aside. For in the end, you will have made yourself and the public accountancy profession stronger. Certified public accountants are an integral part of every business and many critical business decisions include the advice and knowledge of CPAs. Cultivating these relationships is of the utmost importance. You will be called upon to assist your clients in times of growth and uncertainty, whether it is opening a business, bookkeeping, tax advice, merging companies, closing an entity, or just general consulting, your opinion will come to be valued and relied upon. The fact that you are entering the CPA profession now is especially important. The economic uncertainty as well as the ongoing recovery from the pandemic has been difficult for all businesses, and this includes accounting firms. The number of certified public accountants is declining, even while the demand for our service continues to grow. Currently, the profession has experienced a dilemma where a large population of existing CPAs are retiring and fewer candidates are taking the CPA exam. The AICPA is working to combat this disparity, but we must all do our part. Therefore, we would like to urge each of you to mentor and influence others to join our public accountancy profession. Many people here today, like myself, are excited for your achievement and are eager to welcome you to the profession to serve our fellow New Mexicans. Congratulations to each of you for the hard work and dedication that you put in to be here today. And to those of you who supported and guided you through this endeavor, we also say thank you. I became a CPA in 2003, and I've witnessed many changes in the profession working in private and practice, a private practice and as a public servant. I was appointed to the board in 2021. I've enjoyed working with the staff and my fellow board members. Our current board is comprised of a banker, current and retired public servants, including a former fire chief, a CPA who is also an attorney in the private sector, a CPA specializing in information security, our professional diversity and commitment to the accounting profession and the citizens of New Mexico ensure the integrity you have committed to as a certified public accountant. Our speaker today is a partner at Kubiak Melton and Associates. He joined the firm in 2009 with a determination to expand the firm's audit department. His tenacity and dedication to the profession helped him achieve his goals. He is passionate about his community and the profession that helped him achieve his goals. I'm sorry, he is passionate about his community and the profession. It is with great honor that I present Mr. Daniel Trujillo, a CPA and partner at Kubiak Melton and Associates. Please help me in welcoming Mr. Trujillo. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Perfect. Well, congratulations to everyone. Um, I'm honored to speak with you today and join as you join the esteemed ranks of certified public accountants. Your hard work and dedication have led you to this moment, and I want to congratulate you on this achievement. Being the CPA is one of the most prestigious, respected, and rewarding professions. I do believe you will find that as you continue to evolve um, with the profession, that how rewarding it is and how respected it is. As Madam Chair Santi Stevan mentioned, um, my name is Daniel Trujillo. I was born and raised in Northern New Mexico, and I currently have the honor to lead a team of governmental and nonprofit auditors at the firm of Kubiak Melton and Associates, a local CPA firm. I passed the exam in 2009 and was sworn in as a CPA in the spring of 2010, so just a few years ago. I've taken the path of public accounting and have experience doing tax and client accounting services, but now focusing on auditing and consulting. In my 16 year career, the passion has changed. Um, the profession has changed and I have no doubt it will continue to evolve over the next 15 years. 
mostly driven by technological advancements and regulation, the utilization of artificial intelligence will drastically change the way CPAs work over the span of your careers. It's exciting. Now we just have to commit to keep up with the changes so we're ready to adopt them for ourselves, our clients, and our organizations. The timing of passing the exam deserves kudos in and of itself. The CPA exam will soon be a little different starting in 2024 with the adoption of CPA evolution, where there will be there will still be three core sections, audit, reg, and FAR, and then the individual can select one of three options as their fourth exam to demonstrate deeper knowledge. Those um, options are gonna be business analysis and reporting, information systems and controls, tax compliance and planning. So although I know that the exam was challenging how you took it, um, they're evolving it beyond that to, to allow for the change in the industry and how you know sometimes we have the people who want to focus on the tax and planning or you have the people who want to focus more on information technologies. So it'll be interesting as that continues to evolve how that exam is and I'm sure you'll be hearing from your colleagues when they're sitting for it. I am the former chair of the New Mexico Society of CPAs where we led a campaign to grow the CPA pipeline, especially focusing on diversity, equity, and inclusion. This has been a passion of mine because I believe that us as CPAs should reflect the community we serve, no matter our gender, ethnicity, color of our skin, how we talk. I would say that the greatest result of the initiative is the investment of the New Mexico Society of CPAs in, in um, getting into Me New Mexico high schools to introduce the students to the CPA profession. I have been involved with some of these presentations uh, last year at Sioux Cleveland, this year at Valley. And it has been fun and rewarding seeing these high school students learning about what a CPA is, what we do, what are the different options, um, how it could be rewarding both professionally and even financially. It's a little surprising how many students have never heard of the CPA and what it entails. We hope that this investment in the community sparks an interest from some of our high school students to pursue the profession, ultimately filling the pipeline with future CPAs. As you embark on your journey as CPAs, I wanna remind you the vital role that you will play in society. You're not just financial experts, you're also trusted advisors and problem solvers. I think a lot of the times as CPAs, we don't think of ourselves, um, especially early on in your career as problem solvers, but I think uh, we do a lot of problem solving on a day-to-day, -day, no matter what your career path is. You will have businesses, organizations, and individuals make informed financial decisions that will have a significant impact in, on their lives. Accounting is the language of business. I found this interesting last year, 33% of the S&P 500 CFOs that changed jobs became CEOs. I think that oftentimes we don't think that accounting translates into leading a whole uh, corporation, but um, being that it is the, the language of business, we have that foundation to, to get to that point of CEO if you ever wanted to. I think that this illustrates the level of depth and importance uh, we as accountants play in business in general. I think it's pretty exciting to know that the path you're on could potentially lead you to being CEO of a large publicly traded company. As CPAs, you have a unique responsibility and we have a unique responsibility to maintain the highest level of integrity and ethical behavior in, our, in all of our professional endeavors. Our clients in the, the public place, um, they're trusting us and it's our duty to uphold, uphold that trust. Your decisions and actions must always be guided by the principles of objectivity, confidentiality, and professional competent, competence. Furthermore, I encourage you to continue learning and developing your skills throughout your career the world of finance is 
constantly evolving and it's essential to stay updated with the new laws, regulations, and especially technological advancements, as mentioned earlier. Pursuing the professional, pursuing professional development opportunities will not only benefit your clients, but also enhance your own career growth. With more accounting podcasts popping up daily, that is a great way to stay in tune with what's going on in the profession. I particularly enjoy Accounting Today podcasts and would encourage you all to find some, some ones that you like um, to, to listen to. I know we consume information differently than we may have 10, 15, 30 years ago. Um, and I find podcasts a great way to keep in tune with what's really going on in the, in the industry. I encourage you to give back. Volunteering on boards and committees, uh, I have found great great contribution through through some of this stuff uh, as i mentioned i'm the former chair of the new mexico society of cpas unfortunately it was during a time during the pandemic where a lot of the meetings were virtual as today um unfortunately we're not able to see you in person but i'm glad you're able to join on on the virtual world uh, you're going to be sought out <laughs> with the cpa credential behind your name on a lot of boards uh so i would encourage you to find boards that or organizations that you have a passion in and dedicate some of your time to to the finance committee or the board in general um, as you'll add value, I'm sure of it. <clears throat> Finally, I wanna remind you that being a CPA is not just about numbers and spreadsheets. It's also about building relationships with your clients and colleagues. Building trust and communication skills is essential for your success as a CPA. Remember that your your clients rely on you, not just for your expertise, but also for your ability to listen, communicate, and understand their unique needs and challenges. In conclusion, I want to once again congratulate you on becoming CPAs. You are entering a challenging and rewarding profession, and I am confident that you will make a positive impact on the world. Remember, always to maintain the highest standards of professionalism, ethics, and integrity, and continue to learn and grow throughout your career. Best of luck and thank you for the opportunity to be able to speak to you today. She is a CPA at Moss Adams, and Ms. Koontz has a special relationship with one of our CPA candidates. Um, Ms. Koontz? Hello, can you hear me? So my son, Brandon Koontz, is a candidate today, and um, he is, I'm so proud of him. He didn't expect me to speak today, so surprise, Brandon. I hope I don't embarrass you, but unfortunately, <laughs> sometimes that, that's what mothers do. So. <laughs> so would you like me to read the oath at this time? Um, so you can, or if there's any, if you have a small speech prepared, whatever you would like, ma'am. Okay. So I'll start with the oath. Um, the Board of Accountancy requires newly licensed CPAs to participate in a public swearing in ceremony. Participating in a public swearing in ceremony and taking a pro professional oath in front of family, friends, and members of the community will reinforce the notion that by accepting this certificate today, you accept the responsibility to the public and the prof profession and vow to uphold the Public Accountancy Act and the Code of Professional Conduct. Now more than ever, the profession is undergoing unprecedented, unprecedented scrutiny. By taking this oath, you promise to maintain, maintain ethical standards which are above reproach. Take this opportunity to establish your moral guidelines and don't lose sight of them. Prior to the ceremony, all candidates should have read and signed the oath. And 
for me, the significance of this oath is it's, it's huge. Um, being a CPA for me is about being excellent, above reproach, and of high moral standards, and requires honesty. Usually these qualities come from the core of who a person is and rise out to the surface of who we are and the work we produce. So for me, this oath really does mean a lot. It's not just something to read, but something that I follow. And I am very excited for those becoming CPAs today. It is one of the best professions and um, I congratulate all of you and I'm very proud of you, especially my son, Brandon Coots. So thank you. <laughs> Ms. Coons, will you please read the oath? I sure will. I do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States and of this state and the laws thereof and will comply with the Public Accountancy Act and with the New Mexico Public Accountancy Board rules. So help me God. And I apologize, we're gonna to need to do it again. If I can please ask all of these CPAs in attendance to please unmute themselves and especially our newest members um, to please uh, unmute yourself and repeat the oath again as Ms. Jones reads it. I do, do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the United States Constitution's state laws, accountancy board, the state of New Mexico, the New Mexico Accountancy Act, the board rules. Help me God. Help me God. Help me God. Thank you, Miss Coons, and everybody else. That was amazing. Um, You're welcome. I really enjoyed it. Um, so I'd like to thank Mr. Trujillo and Miss Coons, and good morning. I'm Noelle Davis. I'm the executive director of the New Mexico Public Account Accountancy Board. The staff and I really enjoyed working on the swearing in ceremony and learning about our newest candidates. We have a diverse group that includes an international candidate that learned English while milking goats in Texas to a first generation college graduate that loves anime and several individuals that hold licensure in multiple states. We learned each candidate regardless of their education, professional experience or hobbies are now part of an elite profession, professional group known as Certified Public Accountants. So I, Noelle Davis, Executive Director of the New Mexico Public Accountancy Board, hereby certify that the candidates before the board today have met all statutory requirements to be certified public accountants in our great state of New Mexico. Congratulations to the CPAs, their families, friends, and colleagues. Mr. Bradford? Thank you, Noel. It is indeed our honor and privilege to present, recognize, and congratulate each of you on achieving this milestone. Your certified public accountant certificate will be mailed to your address on file with the board. Now I will read the, the name uh, of each of, the, of those that have just been certified. Uh, as they're displayed on the screen. And I would encourage, uh, as your names are read, that you, if you've got family celebrating with you, unmute and uh, let's hear some whoops and clapping and, and things like that. So this, is a, this is an important and, and big day and it's, it's cause for celebration. Ms. Davis, uh, so you will be, you will have all of the names, so I don't need to read from the list that I have. Is that correct? Um, yes, the slides will present. 
slides will be. Okay, we will go with the slides. Uh, first up, Carlos Aguilera. Daniel Bailey, CPA. Alondra Bartlett, CPA. I'm not hearing any whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Philip Kreitzberg, CIA, CFE, CPA. Hey, <laughs> Mallory Deneen, CPA. Mm -hmm. we'll Gomez, CPA. Adrian Gutierrez, CPA. <laughs> Hernandez, CPA. Hill CPA. Rumine Howe CPA. Leo Houdet CPA. And he's here with us. <laughs> All right. Veronica Hughes, CPA. Albert Wu, CPA. Brandon Kuntz, CPA. Thank you, Mom. How awesome that your mom got to embarrass you. So, <laughs> Kylie Knight, CPA. Danielle E. Lambert, CPA. Woo! Annie Lanier, CPA. Hey, Annie. Woo! John Linker, CPA. Roberta McHugh, CPA. Lindsay Malloy, CPA. Isaiah Mann, CPA. CFE. Isaiah is winning. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Tobias L. Martinez, CPA. Wow. It's so proud of you, son. Awesome. <laughs> Taria Mahal, CPA, MSA. Robin C. Muncy, CPA, JD, LLM. <laughs> Gary Nelson, CPA, CISA, CISSP, CIA, PCI, USA, CCP, CCSFP, CIPD, slash US, and CIPT. <laughs> Kelsey Nicholson, MACC, and CPA. Right. <laughs> Jose J. Ortiz, CPA. Yay. All right, Uncle Joe. Hey. Congratulations. Yay. Catherine Padilla, CPA.
Cesar Paras, CCIFP and CPA. Rebecca Rosa, CPA. Daisy Ruiz, CPA. Daniel Seegers, CPA. Anthony Soto. Yay, CPA. love you, son. Yay. So proud of you, my son. Love you much. Love you, son. Brian Talbert, CPA. Juan Carlos Trujillo, CPA. Sheila Van Lucian, CPA. Alex Velasquez, CPA. Way to follow Alex! Woo! Congratulations! <laughs> Jax Wheatley, CPA. <laughs> Linda Weir, CPA. All right. Whereas the New Mexico Public Accountancy Board is the state agency that issues CPA certificates, licenses, and regulates the profession, the New Mexico Society of CPAs is the professional association of CPAs in New Mexico. We work closely together to protect the public and promote the CPA profession. I would like to invite Jeanette Contreras to introduce our next speaker. Hello, everybody. Thank you for having us. Congratulations. This is a huge accomplishment. I look forward to meeting you all and working with you all. My name is Jeanette Contreras. I'm the president and CEO of the New Mexico Society of CPAs. Congratulations. I have two people here with me. Jennifer here is our VP of Operations and Membership. And we have David Diller. He's one of our members. So we'll go ahead and let Jennifer take over. Congratulations, guys. Hi everybody, um, congratulations to all you newly licensed CPAs. You've all worked so hard today and I wanna congratulate you again. The New Mexico Society of CPAs offers many things such as advocacy and continuing education, but we also offer a community of CPAs that are dedicated to the profession. We host many things such as networking events that bring our newly licensed CPAs together and our experienced CPAs so they can network, learn, and grow from one another. Our doors here at the Society are always open and we are here to help you grow within your CPA journey and we can't wait to meet you. We have met some of you and we can't wait to meet the rest of you. So congratulations again. I now want to turn it over to uh, one of our members, David Diller, and um, he has a few words for you also. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Jennifer. Congratulations to everyone today. This is a massive accomplishment. Uh, a lot of hard work went into this, and for friends and family, it's awesome to hear the support that, that you all let out uh, during those congratulations. That's, that's amazing. That's very well deserved to hear that. Um, I became a CPA 10 years ago, and it's one of the best decisions I made in my career. It allowed me to work at Sandia directly with the CFO's organization, um, supporting the financial model and managing $4 billion. Um, it then allowed me to work at CNM, teaching accounting and financial literacy to high school students and to college students. And that's been great too, to try and continue to develop the pipeline and educate my students on what it means to be a CPA and the importance, like Daniel mentioned, of learning the accounting language to be able to understand business and run a business, potentially to be a CEO of a and S&P 500 company. That's amazing. Um, so you all are aware of the many benefits of why you would want to become a CPA. We, we talked about job security. We're losing so many CPAs. It's very great decision that you all decided to be CPAs to fill the shoes of the folks that are retiring. 
one of the things that I've experienced recently, um, I've been a CPA for 10 years. Five years ago, I joined the New Mexico Society of CPAs as a member. I wish I would have joined right away. Um, so I would encourage you guys to definitely get involved, sign up. Um, like Jennifer mentioned, amazing benefits. The CPE, the in-person CPE is something that I've really benefited from. Getting to get together with like-minded individuals to hear speakers from around the country and local speakers to stay up to date on that continuing education is so beneficial for your career. The amount of job opportunities that can come with just networking and making sure that you're educating yourself is massive. Um, the other thing that I think is important too that, that was touched on, just building out your network. You never know how you can help another CPA or how they can help you when it comes to growing your business, growing your company's business, no matter what you're doing, it's incredibly beneficial. Uh, we've been doing really fun CPE events at uh, breweries and wineries and coffee shops. We just did one a couple of weeks ago uh, where we learned about a local company that started their own coffee shop and brewery. And we got CPE for it. Um, we had a great turnout. There are 30 members. Um, so it's great to get involved in the community, interact with people. Um, and we even do field day events. Um, I'm, I'm part of the Young CPA Committee. Um, and something we like to do to give back to our members is to, to host fun events, to get together, do a little bit of CPE, and then spend an hour um, playing kickball and going to happy hour. So there's a lot of great benefits for, for being involved. I would highly encourage you guys to get involved as soon as possible. And uh, feel free to reach out if you've, if you've got any other questions about what it is to be a member. But uh, again, congratulations. So happy for you all. Uh, and go Aggies and Lobos. Got my undergrad at NMSU and my master's in accounting at UNM. So I saw some people that had both of that as well. So congrats again. Well, we've come to the end of our ceremony. Um, so on behalf of the New Mexico Accountancy Board, I would like to thank our distinguished guests, the newly licensed CPAs, their families and friends, the members of the board, the members of the New Mexico Society of CPAs for attending the swearing in ceremony. It is our hope that this ceremony will be one that will continue to grow and be anticipated by future CPAs. Again, we wanna say thank you to everyone for attending today's swearing in ceremony and congratulations to those new CPAs. Thank you. And just a side note to everyone, I will be publishing this on our website over the next couple of days. Um, and your certificates will be mailed out within the next month. So thank you. If anybody needs anything, please um, feel free to contact the board. You can email us at accountancy.org at rld.nm.gov, or you can call any of us as well. And congratulations again. Please make sure you do your CPE. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.